So today is the first day of Johnny Depp versus the Sun. This is a pretty big trial. It's expected to last about three weeks, and there's a lot going on here. Johnny Depp took the stand today and really gave his side of the story, and there was a lot that he said. Uh, I'm going to go over a lot of that right now, but I want to show you some of the headlines coming out of here. Here's the BBC. Then we have from page six, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's courtroom showdown is off to an explosive start. You get a lot of pictures going on of them arriving. There's also some right here from The Guardian. Johnny Depp's barrister tells court Amber Heard invented abuse claims. Now, the barrister is a is a type of lawyer in Britain. I had to look this up because, you know, I don't know a lot about British law or British courts or anything like that. Uh, it seems like they're a special type of lawyer that in, uh, particularly they work in high court cases, which is what this is. Uh, you'll have to you'll have to fact check me on all this. I'm not 100 percent certain on how British law works. Uh, I just I'm, I'm more so interested in what people are saying during this, because a lot of this is going to be reused in the Depp versus Heard case. And there's a lot riding on this case as well. Because if he wins this case, his reputation will get redeemed in a lot of ways. And it'll really go a long way towards rebuilding his reputation in Hollywood. So there's a lot riding on this, for real. But there's also a lot coming out from this. So the reason that he decided to divorce Amber Heard was when she defecated on our bed. Johnny Depp calls his ex-wife a narcissistic sociopath who attacked him and denies ever hitting her at Blockbuster Liable Court Showdown. So there's a lot coming out from this. He was he took the stand today and revealed a lot. Uh, I don't know if the, the case might still be going on. It's been going on for a couple of hours. If so, I'm not sure when Amber Heard is going to take the stand or if she has already. I imagine maybe that will probably happen tomorrow. This is almost like uh, another deposition going on right now. Uh, so let's take a look at what they have to say here. There's a lot that's happened. Johnny Depp today today claimed he decided to divorce Amber Heard after she defecated in their marital bed as a prank as he denied hitting her and said that she had abused him throughout their marriage. The Hollywood legend 57 is suing the son for labeling him a wife of Marta and today branded those accusations as sick and completely untrue as at a long awaited blockbuster libel trial at the high court in London. But the most sensational revelation from Depp was that he decided to divorce her after he found that little gift in the box on their bed, which you got to admit is pretty disgusting. I can't blame him. I personally probably would have left her when my finger came off, but you know, Hey, we all have our different limits. <laughs> we all, we all have our limits and, and what, uh, you know, makes the changes for us. Uh, that's pretty big. So that incident is, uh, Kind of what really broke the straw, huh? The the bed poop. All right. So let's go over there. Here's the big stuff right here. Uh, the actor said heard or possibly one of her friends was responsible for the incident, but she claim but claimed she dismissed it as just a harmless prank, and he agreed when asked if it was the final straw in their deteriorating marriage. He took the stand today, did I ever hitting her, as a series of newspaper stories alleged, and said it was inconceivable that he would ever hit a woman citing his southern upbringing and saying he considers chivalry very important and this is also backed up by a bunch of his exes who are there uh his ex-wife that he shares several children with uh, i think at least two kids I, I i think you might have to fact check me on that one uh she said he's been great the entire time always been a. Uh, Always been a great man and a great father, and he never did anything bad to her. And I think that those are going to go a long way. There's a lot that's been shown that Heard has really manufactured a lot of these allegations and made a lot of this stuff, possibly made a lot of stuff. I don't believe anything that she said, but I want to say possibly because, well, this is why we're in court, right, to find out the truth. And it's nice that we're actually getting to see something unfold. So let's go through this. He, he said, it is a strong and central part of my moral code. I would never strike a woman under any circumstance, any time. I find it inconceivable. It would never happen. While denying attacking her, he also launched 
a blistering attack on her, accusing her of being a calculating narcissistic sociopath who married him to further her career. And then, you know, he goes over a lot of the incidents that we've gone over several times. Uh, The pictures here are very interesting. So the Daily Mail has a lot of pictures of them arriving. Amber, of course, like the actress she is, showing up uh, with a very strong pound M-E-T-O-O photo, as you can see, holding hands with, I think that's her American lawyer. Or no, that's her British lawyer. I'm not sure. Her, she's changed her legal team so many times, it's hard to tell. <laughs> but uh, you can see this picture. Here's Johnny Depp showing up. And there's a sketch of him sitting on the stand. And there's even a video of him arriving, as you can see right there. So let's go through this. We have some more testimony that I think is worth going on, worth reading right here. Uh, Depp on Amber Heard, if I had known what I know now, I would have seen the red flag warning signs, but I did not. She was beautiful, seemingly incredibly interested in me and my work, and I fell for it. She bombed me with what I with what appeared to be love. It was not until much later that I understood that she had an agenda, namely to get married to me in order to progress her own career and to benefit financially, and she knew how to bring it about. For example, at the time, she repeatedly told me how, she, how much she admired my films. However, later in our relationship, she admitted that she had never seen any of my films. She knew what she wanted, and I was an easy target. Deb said that their time together was incredibly unhappy. She is a calculating, diagnosed, borderline personality. She is sociopathic, and she is a narcissist, and she is completely emotionally dishonest. I am now convinced that she came into my life to take me, take to take from me anything worth taking and then destroy what remained of it. Depp said the pair sought the help of a marriage counselor who he says confirmed to him that Heard had a borderline toxic narcissistic personality disorder and is a sociopath. Now, I don't know. Now, you can get, I believe you can get them to testify. I don't know if that's going to hold up very well without that guy's testimony. Uh, Depp on his rage-filled fights with Heard. According to Depp's statement, Heard continuously belittled him and called him a fat old man. He said he found it devastating and heartbreaking to hear Heard call him a horrible father, which he definitely is not. Uh, anybody that's followed him knows that he is uh, actually a very good father and been there for his kids and such. So, yeah, I would imagine that that would be pretty hurtful. Uh, a lot of this goes over stuff that we've already kind of heard. We've got Depp on uh, his... Uh, indulgences and so on and so on uh but that's really it so far i don't know when amber heard is taking uh is taking the stand we're still waiting on that one i imagine that will probably be tomorrow that will be a very interesting one however here's the thing uh we do know that she is allowed to give her evidence behind closed doors So I don't even know how much of that is going to come out. I don't know. We might not get very much. And that's unfortunate. I really wish that they would allow her or they would make her go through the same scrutiny as anybody else. But that's the one special treatment that she's getting is that she is allowed to give testimony behind closed doors. I think that that's absolutely ludicrous. She should have to give she should have to do it in front of everybody else like him. And it's unfortunate that this is how this is going down, but this is where we're at. I do think the the big thing here is we find out what was the what's what's the straw that broke the camel's back. It was the the pooping in the bed incident. <laughs> that was the big thing. That's why they didn't work out. You know, I would have I would have thought it would have been the finger, but hey, you know, some things are different for other people. But that's it. It's gonna get crazy. I think over the next couple of weeks, I hope we find out what's going on. I I hope that, you know, Heard's testimony comes out somehow. Maybe they'll release it after she gives her testimony. I'm not sure, but I will let you know as it develops. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me your thoughts on all this. What do you guys think about all this? I'd like to hear what you have to say. Also, if you would share the video, throw a like up, make sure you're still subscribed, subscribe. If you're new, hit that notification bell and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.
Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.